Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan, and today's video is especially for our new engineers who need advice on the correct tools to use in the field. Hope you enjoy. So we're going to be looking at some of the tools, or the main tools what we're going to require for doing our boiler repair jobs. So we'll go through them one by one, and I'll give you my advice on what I use the tools for and what hopefully you can do the same. Okay, so our basic safety to ourselves, um, as you can see, a pair of gloves here, keeping hands protected and clean. And what I use is this kneeling mat. This is quite important for getting on work tops because work tops can be very hard on your knees. So I use this quite often. So these are the two basic things what we're going to start off with, which hopefully you should use yourself. Okay, so next we've got your U gauge. This is um, a quite an expensive one, but it's high quality. And you can see it's got the um, blue fluid in, so you can clearly see it. A lot better than using water on the cheaper ones and continually filling up all the time. So this is high quality. U gauge and, the, and obviously you can see the tube to go with it so obviously a part of the essential tools what you're going to need to do your gas safety work and pressure testing etc so next um, we've got a multimeter this multimeter um, has got various functions this is for your voltage you can see the alternating current and then you've got your DC voltage You've got your homes, resistance and um, continuity testing. This also has got um, dust temperature as well, so that's handy to have on your multimeter. So this is again essential piece of equipment which you need for day to day working on boilers. So we've got some um, water pump pliers here, so we've got various sizes for different applications. These are quite handy for working inside boilers, in tight spaces. We can use them all in, well, all these inside a boiler, no problem, but these are very handy for tight spaces. This is probably the most common set, this size. This one's good for pump valves, etc. And if you need more leverage, these are the big mothers. These are great for using on immersion heaters, um, which I have emergency heater boss, which I'll show you in a minute. So, but they're your range of water pump pliers, which you should have, and they should help you in most situations. This is the immersion heater key, which I just mentioned, um, which use a big grips to grip here, and you can see it fits over immersion heaters, use these for unvented cylinders, cylinders to remove the immersion heater. So that's a handy tool to have. You do get a lever that goes through that hole here, but it's not very good for leverage. So it's best to use the big grips, which I mentioned before, for this type of application. Okay, so we've got some tools here for doing like electrical work. So the first thing we've got here is this is your little tester you get it put it against electrical cables and it'll beep if it's gonna pick up any voltage so voltage so that's a great little tool to have these um applies which are long long nose pliers getting in little gaps and stuff like that so they're handy to have these are wire strippers cutting back the cables when you're um, doing electrical work, putting wiring and such stuff like that. This is um, your most common terminal screwdriver, so you'll need one of these. You can see that it, they're insulated for safety, and we've got these two again for terminal blocks or little electrical connections. Very handy to have, so have these in your toolbox as well. So we've got some other screwdrivers here. Um, we've got this stubby screwdriver. And we've got another stubby screwdriver, so we've got the Phillips and the flathead. 
very handy for working inside boilers. We've got some various other screwdrivers, so we've got this other Phillips, and we've got a thinner type one. And then we've got this one here. You notice these ones are electrical insulated, so it's good to have a, a good range of drivers which are electrically insulated. And then we've got these other screwdrivers for general purposes here. And we've got this long one here. This is very handy for where screws are set back and they're difficult to get through, get to. And we've got this one here, which is the ratchet screwdriver. You can put different attachments in here, fill it flathead, various types. So quite handy to have for using for general purposes. Okay, we've got some various Allen keys. So we've got um, just standard Allen keys here for general use. The next thing we've got here is, um, this is a T-bar one. It's a four mil. It's used for pump heads, really. That's the most frequently used thing you'll use it for. I've got another four mil one here. Sometimes you can't get the other longer one in, so this is handy to have as well. We've got these other two. This is a five mil one. Again, for using pump heads, mainly on Wilo pumps because they've got a bigger head a bigger connection on the end there and then this one I use this for um, on ideal boilers where you want to change the um, electrodes, spark electrodes it's quite handy for that so there's your Allen key or T-bar heads what we call them so again these are the type of things what you need in your toolbox This other little section here, again I've got the um, ratchet um, screwdriver. So you can see these here, these like star bolts, and you can take these out and use in here where you've got star bolt screw heads. So get a general set of these, it's handy to have. We've got this little tool here, which is handy for in tight areas where you want to get a screw are again using this type of application head so it's handy to have this this little ratchet tool these are just what are contained in this box here so they're just general um, flat heads and Phillips for different sizes for different applications okay so now we've got spanners so spanners have a very important tool to have so you can see there's various sizes of spanners I'll start with this end. This is a, a ratchet spanner. It's an 8 and 10 mil. Very handy for um, tight spaces. So um, you can get other sizes as well. I'm just showing this one as an example. So very handy tool to have. Then your normal spanners. Um, you've got 8 mil, 9, 10, going up to about 17 mil. These are going to be very handy for. Um, different applications your common ones are your 10 mil 8 mil 13 mil you'll use them for changing sensors on boilers that's a common size and there's a 15 mil that also does some sensors you've got your adjustable spanners these are handy for changing like pumps um, not pumps sorry you've got diverter valves connection to divert valves, co inlet connections, so they're handy size to have as well. Right, so we've got some general tools. So we've got our good old WD-40 helping us in lots of areas where we need an extra bit of grip or to get that tight nut off, so that's your general purpose um, lubricant and help you ease any stiff bolts. We've got your Stanley knife just for general purposes, for wires, stuff like that. You've got your hacksaw, your file and your hammer. And we've got this flue brush for cleaning out flues etc. 
So that's your little general toolkit for that, for what you, we can see here now. Right, this little flat bit of device is um, handy for when you're taking out pumps, say like in a, in a combi boiler, you can place it like that angle and put it so the water is then deflected over in electrical components like the PCB and then go into a bucket. So this is a handy little tool, it's qu quite stiff so you can bend it into different shapes so you can like make it into a funnel type shape and then just deflect the water away from any electrical components protecting them. So this is quite a handy tool to have as well. Right up next this is a foot pump but it's a modified foot pump for pumping up expansion vessels. So what I've done I've um, got a standard foot pump and I've cut the um, tube off and I've got some petrol pipe and extended it. I've got about four meters on here and I've got these connections that you can get from Halfords to um, for the connection pipes what you need and the clips and then you can pump it from the floor and then attach this part to the expansion vessel. So that's another handy tool you're going to need on a daily basis for working on combi boilers. Right, this is your gas analyzer and the, your tube, your analyzing probe which is in there and your charger. So this is what you need for working on all boilers to do your combustion analyzing. So you need one of these. You can see this is a, a Kana main one. So there's different models but this is the most popular one what I've seen out there and it's quite easy to use so this is one that I recommend you get for your gas analyzing. And finally the good old toolbox where all them tools all belong. So this particular toolbox you can get it from B&Q. This one's quite handy because you've got these little compartments on the top here like you can see I've got bits of fuses and washers etc so it's quite a handy toolbox to have. So as I say, you can get this from B&Q and use this type. What I do as well sometimes, you can actually use it as a little step up as well. You can step in this area, which I use it quite often. So that's it for today on all the tools. I hope you um, find this useful. These other tools out there what you can use, but these are the main ones for your day-to-day -day use. If you would like to join the Engineer Team Network, just click on the link below. We'd be grateful if you could give us a like on this video or subscribe to our channel. So thank you for watching and we hope to see you soon.